Hello again. Um, I want to show you uh, a problem uh, related to the rigid body kinetics, uh, and I, I want to use the uh, so-called modified uh, second law. And this is a problem where the motion is about a point which is not the centroid of the body. You see here this bar is about to pivot about point O. And the centroid of the body, obviously, if it's a uniform bar, it's going to be right in the middle. Uh, this bar is 0.9 meter long, so it would be right in the center, 0.45 uh, meter uh, from each side. Okay, so here's the problem. Um, the bar uh, whose mass is 15 kilograms, so given that the mass of this bar is 15 kilograms, and uh, is a uniform bar, uh, initially in this position of horizontal position connected to a cable. Now, if the cable is cut, as shown here, immediately after the cable is cut and the bar is still in the horizontal position, what would be the angular acceleration of this bar? So we want to find immediately after the cable is uh, cut, what is the angular acceleration alpha? And also, what are the components of reaction at the pivot point O? So reactions developed at O. So angular acceleration and reactions that are developed at O is what we're looking for. Okay, so for any kinetic problem, we should draw a free body di diagram, especially if you want to use the second law. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the free body diagram of this guy right on the picture. So we're going to have uh, the components of reaction at the pin, so an OX and OY, one in the X, one in the Y. Then we have the weight of this guy, remember this is 15 kilograms, and this is uh, G right here, the center, uh, center of gravity. So this would be the weight of this, remember the weight is 15 kilograms times 9.81. Uh, in Newtons and uh, so basically once the cable is cut there is no tension in the cable so basically that's it so now the equation that we're going to use to find the angular acceleration uh, specifically when you have a non centroidal rotation you want to take moment about the pivot point and set it equal to so some of the moment some of the torque about O is equal to I sub O times alpha, where I sub O is the mass moment of inertia with respect to the axis passing through O. Now, I sub O can be determined based on parallaxis equation. Uh, parallaxis equation says, okay, if you happen to have your centroidal mass moment of inertia I bar or I bar G, the same thing, you could then add a, a product of mass times distance squared to it to transfer the mass moment of inertia from the centroidal axis to the axis through point O, where D is the distance between the two axes, the two axes perpendicular to this uh, picture through O and through G would be D, which is actually 0.15. So if we go ahead and try to find I sub O, now we know that for a slender rod, uh, the mass moment of inertia from a table through the the, the axis through the, its uh, centroid is equal to 112 ml squared plus, now we are going to add the md squared to it, and that should give us the mass moment of inertia. So if we go ahead and plug in the numbers, so 112 mass, remember, is 15 kilograms. The length is 0 0.9 squared plus, again, 15 kilogram times 0 0.15 squared. So I sub O comes out to be equal to uh, 1.35 kilograms. The so unit should be kilograms times meter squared. Mass times distance squared. Okay, so that's the uh, mass moment of inertia with respect to the axis through point O. Now let's go ahead and take moment about O here. So if we take uh, counterclockwise as positive, which is obviously the way this guy is going to rotate, as you could see. This will rotate like that. Uh, 
<clears throat> the only force that has moment about um, the uh, point O is actually the weight of this guy, which is 15 times 15 kilograms times 9.81, right? Times 0.15. And this should be equal to I sub O, which I just determined for you, 1.35 times alpha. So this is just one equation with one unknown. Go ahead, solve for alpha. Alpha comes out to be 16.35. 16.35. Unit should be radians per second squared. So that's how we find alpha. This is, remember, alpha immediately after the cable is cut. Now, in order for me to find the reactions at this instant, again, remember, the bar is still horizontal. I need to use equation of motion in the x and y direction. Sum of the forces in x equal mass times acceleration of the center of mass, meaning acceleration of g. And sum of the forces in y equal mass times acceleration in the y direction of the center of mass. So the question is, at this instant, what is the acceleration of <clears throat> this bar is the center of gravity of this bar. So let me go to the next page and redraw this bar for you. Remember, the pivot point is here, right? Point O. And then we want to find acceleration of point G. So you already know what the alpha of this guy is. But remember that omega of this guy at this instant is equal to zero. Because prior to that, it, it didn't have any angular speed. And then immediately after we cut it, yes, omega is zero, but there is an alpha that we just calculated. So let's see, you know that in general there are two components of acceleration for any point. There is a normal component and there is a tangential component. So, uh, we know that the normal component is equal to r omega squared. Since omega is zero, that should be zero. And then the tangential component of acceleration of the center of mass, which happens to be a bar then, in the y direction actually, right, uh, becomes r times alpha. r is the distance between point g and point o, which is, again, 0.15, right, times this alpha that I just calculated in the previous space, 16.35. So that becomes... 2.4525 that would be in meters per second squared so now I'm going to write my equations in the X and Y direction so I have acceleration of this uh, center of gravity acceleration of G right uh, and remember a n is 0 there's no X component in a way and then a t is the Y component of acceleration of point G okay Back to this equation, so we have this. Now, if we go back to our free body diagram, you notice that there's only an X component of reaction at O. So we have OX equal mass, 15 kilograms, but there's no component of acceleration. Remember, AN is zero. So actually, OX happens to be zero. So no X component of reaction is developed at that instant. Keep in mind that a second after that, when the bar is no longer horizontal, there would be a component in the x direction. Okay, similarly in the y direction, we have some of the forces in y equal ma bar y. So if you pick a direction here, that's positive. Remember that the direction that you pick apply to both sides of the equation. Let's go back again to the free body diagram. So notice you have OY going positive. You have the weight going negative. So OY minus the weight, which is 15 times 9.81, right? Equal mass. And remember, the Y component of acceleration is this guy, A sub T. But that's going in the negative direction. So you have to put a negative uh, right there, 4525. Let me erase this for you. 2.4525. Uh, so if you do the calculation now, solve for OY. OY happens to be about 110.36 Newton. And that would be the reaction developed at that instant in the y direction and should be pointing up thank you for listening um, 
and we'll look at more examples in other videos. Thank you.